Hi, welcome to another toy review and today we've got a couple of Nerf guns. Number one, the Nerf Rival, which is a fairly new product and as well the Nerf Zombie Strike, another new product. The, the Nerf Rival uh, shoots these new type of Nerf small yellow balls while the uh, Nerf Zombie Strike fires the more traditional uh, dark style. So we'll start off with the Nerf Zombie Strike, have a look at it and um, unbox it and uh, see what its performance is like. Okay, so here's the open package of the Nerf Zombie Strike. Looks like there's a little bit of assembly required and it has four darts as well as the gun. So to put it on, you bring it over, over here, and then you kind of slide it in right into there, like that. Next we're going to load the crossbow, and be careful not to shoot anyone. There. Next, we see what kind of distance we get. Wow, that was good. Beautiful. It went all the way where? Maybe it hit the wall. Hit the wall. That's pretty it good. It turned left. Hey, shoot, shoot it. So as you can see on the box, it says do not aim at eyes or face to avoid injury. Use only darts designed for this product. Do not modify darts or dart blasters. But we picked up a couple of these face shields that are actually meant for paintball. Um, but with the second product, the Nerf Rival, uh, they show the guys on this box actually wearing masks. We couldn't find these masks that they were wearing. Like right there. So, we ended up buying these masks at uh, Canadian Tire for about uh, 35 bucks a piece. And uh, they'll do them well into their uh, teens when they're actually playing paintball. So, how do you like that crossbow, Nerlin? Ner um, good. Yeah, yeah what, do you, like, what, do you, like what do you rate it out of five stars? Five. Five out of five? <coughs> yeah. Okay, so it's about 25 I feet. To that wall way over there. It goes farther and than that little pistol. Oh, yeah. So you're hitting that wall way down there, 25 feet. So that's that's pretty good, eh? So is it a pretty good gun there, Braden? Yep. You recommend it? I don't want to shoot the way. Wow. Okay, lots of power. So both... Boys, really like that gun and uh, highly recommend it, right? Okay, so next up, is Braden's. What do you call that, Braden? Uh, the Nerf Rival. Nerf Rival. Okay, so let's unbox that and have a look. Oh, which the tape seven. Okay, so we open up the gun, and uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa! Of these look it! Look it! Rubber See? balls, and uh, looks like some kind of a spring device. It's like for you put. So let's uh, it's put read instructions and try to figure out how it's supposed together. It doesn't have to be. Okay, so the clip goes in like so with uh, this going towards the front of the gun. And simply push it in with my belly. <laughs> and then we're going to. You want to cock the gun? Do you know how to cock the gun? Yeah. Pull back. Braden's only seven. It says it's for a 14 year old. Probably because it's so powerful. Okay.
Watch out. No. Oh. Oh boy. Oh my. Oh, you're out. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. That's how much it has to have. All right. Yeah, so we've got those masks there. Really good idea for these Nerf rivals because uh, you get hit with one of those and it's definitely be... going to hurt uh, in the face. It's definitely going to probably take out an eye, to be that, honest with you, I think. That can maybe hit when you like put near here and then when you shoot, you will go and scream loud. Yeah. It can, and you can like maybe like go through and go here maybe. Well, I don't think it'll go through you, but definitely uh, you want to be wearing some pretty good padded clothing to operate either one of these guns. Okay, so we've just done uh, the two Nerf guns here, the Zombie Strike, and we've also done the Nerf Rival. Both guns uh, seem pretty cool. What do you think of the, the Nerf uh, Rival, guys? strong and I would highly recommend to not like shoot someone near with that thing because that's gonna hurt because it just it from a far distance it's a little pinch but I think from like a little distance oh that that one so both guns seem pretty cool um the traditional uh zombie strikes more of a traditional nerf where you have the traditional type ammunition and uh, the rival having the little yellow balls here. They're very uh, they're they're a devil. soft. They're they're, soft. Yeah, but they're a devil also. A devil? Yes. What do you mean a devil? They're mean. And they hurt. Well, the rival, That's it says I mean. age is 14 and up. I think uh, a couple of reasons for that. One is it's not that easy to uh, cock the gun. You really have to yeah, you gotta be have a bit of strength. Um, Braden seventy is a so hard time. Here. Have... Uh, One mistake we made is that we were just cocking back, didn't read the directions. Uh, later realized that you have to cock it back, and then you have to push it forward in order for the weapon to fire. And the way you know it's ready, you cock it back, push it forward. There's an orange indication at the back that tells you you're ready to fire, um, and then away you go. So it holds uh, seven rounds, like we were saying, and um, we did find it gets jammed up quite a bit, uh, mostly because we were only bringing it back instead of bringing it forward again. That's why it was getting jammed up. But also, if you only bring it back a little bit and then try to put it forward, it's going to get jammed up. You're not going to be able to fire the weapon. So it requires you to bring it all the way back, all the way forward, before you can fire the weapon. Okay, thanks for watching our video. Uh, on the two Nerf guns and we'll see you next time for another uh, unboxing or something. Goodbye.